Hi folks, and welcome to the review and demonstration of the Samsung Jet 90 cordless vacuum cleaner. Now this machine might be called a cordless vacuum cleaner, but it is also so much more, and it is really tech-filled vacuum. Now if you're looking for something at the budget end, this is definitely not going to be for you, as it's hefty £600 price tag for just the main unit, and the floor cleaning attachment is definitely at the high end, competing with Dyson's and Sharp's. But there's also a lot of other different things, such as the self-emptying mechanism that you can get and be factors in with this. So this part alone that empties it is £199. But we're going to be seeing if all of these features are just gimmicks or whether they're really worth the money. Before I start, it's worth adding this machine was sent to me free of charge to be tested by Samsung, but as per usual, this will not influence my opinion as there's many machines that I have been sent for free and I still don't rate. On the carpet demo, we used a variety of different messes. So lentils, flour, pet hair and couscous. We first tested the Samsung through these and it picked them up all flawlessly. There was a tiny bit of flour residue left behind, but a second pass cleaned this up. To see how this machine compared against another machine in the £600 price range, we pitched it up against the Via L11 to see if this could perform any better or any worse. And I'm pleased to report that the Samsung performed on par with this machine and the performance was exceptional. So that's a five out of five for carpet deep cleaning. Also on carpet, we laid down flour next to a risen tile and took this machine up against the side of it. The Samsung picked up all of the flour that was on the floor within one backwards and forwards pass. Really impressive result and did a really good job. So on the edge pickup, we gave it a 4.5 out of 5. On the hard floors is where we saw one of this machine's weaknesses. It picked up all of the couscous as our medium sized debris, no problem. And it also dealt with the flour with ease. Now, what we found was, as with many vacuum cleaners, it struggled with the lentils because they are a larger particle size than usual. It was definitely better than average and you could lift up the cleaner head and do a few passes and it definitely got them up. But we found that it could snow plow particles this size when they're in a large quantity. The machine comes with a really decent attachment set too. It's definitely one of our favorite factors about the machine. It's got a great pet powered turbo tool, which we used on the stairs. It can skip a little bit as you pull it back, but when we increase the suction to the maximum mode, it tends to clamp down and do a really good job. The flexi dusting and combination tool was great for cleaning up things like flour and dust off skirting boards, and then getting up high on things like picture rails that usually require a ladder or a lot of bending. It also comes with a nice extendable crevice tool for getting in all those nooks and crannies. Now onto the features and optional extras of this machine. Now we've shown the bin as the optional extra, but does it really work? So after our tests, we popped in the bin to see if we'd need to still get our hands in dirty, trying to fish out all that dirt. We're pleased to report it pulled out about 99% of the dirt. There was still a little bit left in the cyclone, but it definitely did a much better job than just emptying alone. So I'd say it's a good optional extra if you can afford it, but probably not 100% necessary. Uh, some of the features that I absolutely love on this machine are really simple, but really effective. The stand is really outstanding if you'll pardon the pun. It means it can be stored anywhere without having to hang it on the wall. Really nice feature to have and you can just pop it in it. It can come with two batteries. One can charge in the back and one can charge in the machine. There's no trigger to hold. Now, this may be seen as a benefit or a disadvantage. I'd say it's sort of neutral. You can switch it on and switch it off at the touch of a button, which is nice. The cleaner head is really nice and agile to move. As you can see in the demo, it gets right around and swivels nice 90 degrees. Right, so that brings us to the end of our full review and demo of the Samsung Jet 90. Now, with this hefty price tag, I know the question on everybody's lips is, is it worth the money? And the answer is yes. 
It's a really nice alternative to a Dyson machine if you don't want one of them. Uh, I'd say the performance is very similar. Um, and it's a nice machine to use. It's solidly built, comes with a good guarantee. And I like the stand and the simple things about it, which just give it that edge over certain competitors. I really like this. It is on the pricey side, but definitely worth it if you have got that big home or allergies. And if you've got pet hair, it really stops it clogging fantastically. So thanks for watching this video from the Vatmat. Hope you've enjoyed it and you're going to like and subscribe and share it with all your friends who may be interested in a vacuum cleaner. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.